Hi, uh, this is the final video on break-even uh, and in this video we'll just be talking about the value of break-even analysis. Um, so it's this uh, final point here on uh, break-even in the specification. So um, we've gone through a couple of methods of calculating break-even. Number one, using the formula, fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Uh, we've talked about why break-even is important. It's the point at which a business um, is making neither a profit nor a loss. If they sell um, any number of units uh, below their break-even output, they've made a, um, a loss. They haven't made any profit at all. Um, and if they uh, can exceed their break-even point, that is the point at which they start to generate profit. So. Um, what are the strengths of, of break-even and conducting a break-even analysis? Well, it helps uh, businesses that are launching new products see how many units will need to be sold in order to either make the product profitable or for it to break even. It also can help new business, obviously, that are just setting up uh, to do the same. Uh, we can use it to predict profits at different levels of output. So we can use it to look at it and say, well, if we make a thousand units, how much profit will we make? If 2,000 units, how much profit, etc. Um, we can use break-even analysis to assess the impact of changes in price and costs. And uh, I showed you on the previous video how you can uh, do that using a break-even chart, or you can use it, uh, you can just put the numbers into a table and do the same. But the point is that um, uh, break-even um, uh, the break-even analysis allows us to test assumptions, basically. What happens if we increase our price uh, to our break-even output? What happens if our fixed costs go up to our break-even output? It can help us to set sales targets, and it may even help us to secure um, investment if, uh, you, know, we're, we're, you know, it's an important part of the business plan. Uh, any investor will want to see that a business has a good um, understanding of their figures and uh, if you watch Dragon's Den, it's often a question you will hear the Dragons asking potential um, entrepreneurs. Um, the weaknesses of break-even analysis, um, to a certain extent it depends on, well to a large extent it depends on the reliability of the costs and sales forecasts. So, um, you know, we're, we're predicting that consumers will be willing to pay uh, X amount of money and that our fix, our costs will be so much. Um, will these hold true in reality and costs uh, particularly will change over time and maybe your selling price will need to change over time as well. Um, the person constructing the break-even analysis may make assumptions that don't hold true uh, in reality, for example. Um, uh, you know, the, the assumption that uh, uh, the fixed cost, the rent, will be uh, so much for the next two years, or um, that he'll be able to negotiate or she'll be able to negotiate a discount with suppliers. Um, so it depends on the experience of the person who's putting together the break even forecast. Um, if, it, if you're reading a case at the end of an exam and it indicates the person isn't particularly competent uh, with finances, then this would be something to mention when you're analysing the break-even uh, forecast. Uh, break-even assumes constant returns, i.e. Um, it assumes that if you um, uh, produce 1,000 units, your variable cost will be the same as if you produce 5,000 or 10,000 units. Um, often you will be able to negotiate uh, cheaper uh, raw material costs. Fixed costs, of course, we call them fixed costs, but um, you know, and, and uh, rent is fixed for, for a short period of time, often a year or so, um, but it may change after that. Um, on the other hand as well, in terms of revenues, um, it seems constant revenues a constant selling price, but you may need to discount your stock in order to sell it, or you may get the opportunity to uh, sell a large amount of stock to someone, in which case you have to offer them a, uh, a discount, uh, 
you know, per unit price in order to shift that amount of stock. So this would throw your break-even analysis out as each unit would be, um, uh, would have a lower contribution if you're selling it at a lower price. Um, it tends to assume one product, one variety of that product, uh, no deluxe models, you know, um, it make it, it simplifies an awful lot of businesses selling four or five products, uh, will, will, you know, may struggle to put all of that on one break-even chart. Um, and of course it doesn't take unforeseen circumstances into account. Is it worth doing a break-even analysis? Um, you know, almost certainly and investors will probably want to see it and it provides um, some peace of mind for the entrepreneur. However, and um, the results need to be taken with a pinch of salt.